How's it going everybody? So in this video, I am going to talk about how to run faster without losing breath. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dylan Berg 999. So this is something, um, this is something that's really cool because um, I've been bodybuilding, powerlifting for the last 11 years, and um, I've been into health for 11 years. I haven't, I haven't just did bodybuilding and powerlifting. I've also incorporated some boxing, um, some cardio training, jumping rope, and treadmill stuff as well too, and bike. So I've done lots of different things, not for long periods of time. I might have done boxing for like six months on top of lifting weights. I might have done treadmill or cardio on top of doing my weights. Um, but I love to run. I love running. It's very, very fun. And um, we are selling my house right now. My house is for sale. Um, it's pending right now. It should be sold today or tomorrow. Um, they've already done their house inspection. Uh, they're, we're just waiting to get back on that and for the financing. But um, we are moving into a new house. Hopefully we're looking at one house tonight. Hopefully that one, we can buy it. But when we do get our new house, I am buying a treadmill and I'm putting it in my basement. I've had a treadmill before, but um, I got rid of it because we were moving. So I will be getting another one. Now I plan to run for a long period of time. What I've noticed is as I get older, it's getting harder to keep the weight off or it's harder to stay lean because as you get older, your metabolism drops and you just add fat more easily. So I'm really gonna start incorporating some, some treadmill. Now, what I've done to really get good at treadmill, like my cardio is really good for my size. Like I'm 200 pounds and I can do cardio all day long. I am a garbage collector, so um, we do cardio all day. Like we're walking or jogging all day long, picking up garbage, heavy garbage, 40, 50 pound bags. And my, my cardio is good. What you need to do to run faster without losing breath is you need to ease yourself into it. Running is just like lifting weights. It, you need progressive overload. If you literally do the exact same thing every single time that you go in, you're not gonna get any better at it. For example, if, you, if you're if you losing breath and you're jogging, say, half a kilometer or you're walking one mile and then you stop and you do that every single day, well, guess what's gonna happen? You're still gonna be out of breath because you're doing the exact same thing. But if you start walking one mile a day and then you keep progressing just a little bit more every single time, just go a little bit farther, after a while, you're gonna be walking 10 miles and two miles is gonna seem easy, four miles is gonna seem easy, eight miles is gonna seem easy, and you're not going to be out of breath. That's basically what I did with running and jogging, and before I knew it, I could do five miles really fast, like run really fast, and I wasn't even out of breath. So I recommend doing that just literally, and, and if you don't run on a treadmill, you walk outside, you run outside, just whenever you leave your house, make it a point to go in the same direction every single time, but when you hit the direction, when you hit the spot that you normally stop at, walk an extra block or walk an extra five houses and just keep doing that every single time, just slowly adding more. And what you'll notice is your body will adapt to it and you'll become literally a machine at cardio. Like your cardio will be off the charts. I guarantee you that. Um, so end of video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram, Dylanberg999.